Surprise, people! This is the day! The new Scare Your Pants Off book comes out today. Dun, dun, dun! The, the Call, call of, of the, the Frankenbird! Frankenbird. Oh, 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 creepy. We're on our way to the library. Me, Buster, Francine, Muffy, and Brain. On a Saturday morning! That's how much we want this book. So we can be the first ones to check it out and read it. If they only have one copy, remember the read over my shoulder rule. We don't turn the page until everyone is ready. Scarier pants off books are so good. Yeah, a little scary, a little funny, a little mysterious, and you just have to know how it ends. Every book is a page turner. When I was reading Curse of the Mummy's Breath, I was so into it, I read right through breakfast. I mean, without eating. I read Bones in the Attic on the train, and it was so exciting I missed my stop. Hey, podcast people. What kind of books do you love to read? I'm checking my inbox to see what you have to say. So what I really like about reading books is the feeling that you can just really get into it, like leave everything else behind and sort of make it your new life inside the book. In the books I like... There is always a problem, and the kids are smart enough to figure it out. That is what I love about reading. I love when I can get lost in the book. I love when I can see a clear picture of what's going on in my head, and I can never put the book down. Those cool. sounds Well, we're almost to the library. Just around the corner, and we'll be the first in line. Oh, or last in line? There are so many people here. Oh, I guess we should have met earlier. Yeah, like three days ago. Oh, this line goes all the way down the block. I guess we could just check out some of the old books to read again. Yeah, like Zombie Substitute Teacher. Or The Cat in the Catacombs. Oh, I love that one. At the very end, when they think they're safe and they're walking away from the tunnels and suddenly they hear... That one's great, but I really want to read the new one. Maybe the library got enough copies for all of us? Hey, the library doors are opening. There's Miss Turner, the librarian, but she's not letting everyone in. <clears throat> I have an unfortunate announcement. If you are here for the new Scare Your Pants Off book, the entire series has been removed from the library shelves until further notice. <gasps> what? No! What? Oh, you're kidding! The library is now open. And shh! I can't believe it. Shocking! Oh, no. I don't get it. Why would the library remove our favorite books from the shelves? Yep, this is the library. Let's set up our shot here on the steps. Uh, live and That's fast. Julie Moore! She's a news reporter. <gasps> Are we going to be on live TV? Hey, kids, excuse us. We won't be long. Rashad, can you see the library behind me? Okay, great. Let's do this. On me in three, two, one. We're here at the Elwood City Library, where a popular children's book series has just been removed from the shelves. A parent group called Paws, that's Parents Against Weird Stories, say the scary stories are bad for kids. They give them nightmares and are just too weird. Author E.A. Poe was unavailable for comment. Paws is having a rally for other concerned parents tomorrow in front of the library. This is Julie Moore for Elwood City News. And we're out. Pack it up. We'll head back to the station. Bye, kids. Bye, Bye Miss Moore. So a bunch of parents decided we can't have our favorite books? And what are they talking about? Those books are the perfect amount of scary. What are we going to do? There's not much we can do. Generally speaking, minors have limited access to legal recourse or arbitration. No. But we can't give up. Don't you want to read The Call of the Frankenbird? You yes. know who I do. And don't you think all kids should have that chance? Maybe Arthur's right. But what can we do? I know! We can go on strike! We won't do any more homework till we get our books back! Nice try, Buster. But what we need to do is quantitatively demonstrate that we're not alone in our opinion. Uh, uh, huh? Brain means we have to show pause that a lot of kids want their books back. I know! We should get signatures on a petition! That's what my mom did to save the old city hall building! Do we have enough time? 
the rally is tomorrow. I can write a petition for us right now. And I can print it out at my house. We can each take a petition and split up to cover more ground. Come on, let's go get those signatures. And get our books back. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Absolutely. Okay, Podcast Nation, it's Buster. I'm here at the library. If there's anyone who will sign our petition, it's book readers. Hey, everyone, if you want the Scare Your Pants Off books back on the shelves, then come sign this petition. Great well, idea. Sign. Just add your name right there. You want to sign here? Yep, right here. Thanks. Kids. Shh. Sorry, Miss Turner. I'm collecting signatures to bring the Scare Your Pants Off books back. Huzzah! I love those books. Let me sign. Thanks, Miss Turner. And forget the shh, everyone. Just get your names on this petition. Great. I'm oh, I have plenty of pens. Put my name down. Thank you. Well done. Get me? Yes, you sign on the bottom there. Attention all ice cream shop customers. Before I scoop ice cream for you, I'd like to convince you that young minds grow through literature. I have several graphs here that illustrate the extreme benefits of reading. And it all comes back to kids choosing their literature. So sign my petition to let kids choose the books they want. Hey, 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 kid. If we sign your petition, can we get some ice cream? Absolutely. Although, I'd like to think that it was the data that persuaded you. Paws has taken our books away, so I'm asking for help today. Line up now and sign your name. That's the point of my jump rope game. I love those books. Exactly, sign right here. Sure. Do you have a oh, here's a pen. Can they even totally yeah. sign it? Perfect, yep. Sign right here. Great. Thanks for the signature. Hey, podcast people. I brought my petition to the community garden where the town comes together to grow veggies and flowers. So there's always a big crowd here on Saturdays. Uh, excuse me, everyone. My name is Arthur Reed, and I'd like you to sign my petition. A parent's group took our favorite books out of the library. Our petition is to get our books back. Kind of busy, kid. Uh, come back to me later. Great, kid, I'll sign it. Where I'll I sign that for you. That's awful. Which books are you talking about? The Scare Your Pants Off books. Oh, do you read those? I don't just read them. I read and reread and re-re-read and re-re-re-read. It's my favorite series. Then this is serious. Maybe I should speak to this parents group. Don't give up, young man. You're doing a good thing. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Thanks. She was nice. Oh, wait, she forgot to sign. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Hi. Greetings. What's up? Did you get lots of signatures? A lot. Yeah, More than I hoped. Do you think we have enough? Well, I sure hope so. We just have to hope they'll listen to us tomorrow. Hey, where's Muffy? I don't know. I haven't seen her all day. Maybe her parents just bought her the new book. Think she'll let us borrow it? Well, the library will let us borrow it if we convince Paws. Okay, everyone. See you at the rally tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your signatures. Right. Bye. This is it, podcast people. We're at the rally. There are a lot of people here. Wait, is that Muffy's butler? It looks like he's getting the microphone ready. Why would he be here? Well, there are Muffy's parents. And there's Muffy. Hey, Muffy, we're over here. There you are, Muffy. Where were you yesterday? Well... Hello, hello. Glad to see such a crowd here. I'm Ed Crosswire of Crosswire Motors, corner of Park and Lakewood, open most nights till 10. But I'm not hosting this rally for me. I'm doing it to save our kids. We are Paws, Parents Against Weird Stories. Muffy, your parents stop. started Paws? Yes. I didn't know until I got books. home yesterday. Kids just don't know the harm these books do. My poor daughter read just one, and it gave her awful nightmares. Really, Muffy? Like it gave you nightmares? You well, monster. now 
Now's our moment. We have to get the petition up there. I'm too nervous. Take it, take it. What would I say? I'll do it. Excuse me, coming through. Thanks, excuse me. Um, Mr. Crosswire? Speaking for the kids, we really want our books back. We got hundreds of people to sign our petition. They all believe we should be able to read the books we like. Oh, that's nice, Arthur. But believe me, we're doing this for your own good. Ed Crosswire, have you read any of the books yourself? Who is that? Who said that? Podcast people, it's the woman I met at the community garden. She's coming up to the stage. So, Ed, have you read any of these books? <gasps> You're Miss McWord, my elementary school English teacher. That's right. And you never did read, Ed. That's why the writer of these books works so hard to write stories kids like to read. About silly things like cursed cupcakes or mysterious things like mummies. Because if a kid enjoys a scary book, maybe they'll read other books, too. Oh, really? And what makes you such an expert? I wrote them. I can't <gasps> wait. You wrote the Scare Your Pants Off books? Yes. E.A. Poe is my pen name. Ah! Miss Poe! My name is Muffy Crosswire, and I'm your number one fan. I have all your books. Does anyone have a pen? Muffy! You've read them all? Oops. If it wasn't the books that gave you nightmares, then what was it? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it was something I ate? Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Muffy, does this have anything to do with my missing cans of sweet Sarah's strawberry soda? That stuff is full of sugar. It always makes you sleep weird. Okay, if it's so bad, then why do you buy it, Daddy? Um, well... Ed, what do you say we actually read one of my books and see what you think? Excellent idea. Come on, everyone. Let's head into the library. The hamburger stand stood in the moonlight, still smelling like stale french fries and fear. But since that ghastly night, nobody has dared to steal anything from the haunted hamburger stand again. Oh, I love it. So good. What did you think, Daddy? Do you still believe the Scare Your Pants Off books are terrible for kids? Well, I guess I shouldn't have tried to stop kids from reading books I hadn't read myself. Then can we have our books back, Mr. Crosswire? Will you tell the library that they can put them back on the shelves? Under one condition. Yes? That Miss McWord here, sorry, Ms. E.A. Poe, reads us her new Scare Your Pants Off book. Oh, yes! yes! Really nice! <laughs> we did it, podcast people. We got our books back. I feel great. Proud and excited oh, and really oh, happy that... bird. Chapter one. Oh my gosh, she's no reading it! The new book! New okay, one. I gotta go. I'll see you later, podcast people. Bye! You've been listening to the Arthur Podcast. Hey parents, do you want your kids to answer my next inbox question? First... Go to the Arthur website at pbskids.org to find out what I'll be asking. Then email me a voice recording of your child's response to arthur at wgbh.org. Your child's answer might even be featured on a future podcast. That's the show, Podcast Nation. If you liked it, ask your grown-up to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. You can listen to all our podcasts, play games, and more at pbskids.org. The Arthur Podcast is produced for PBS Kids by GBH Kids in partnership with Gen Z Media and distributed by PRX. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful kind of day. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. GBH Kids.